guest list for the funeral told a story spanning from Hollywood's golden age to the White House. And this was an homage not just to an iconic first lady, but an iconic first couple described as two halves of a circle. The service at the Ronald Reagan Presidential no Library was elegant, formal, and funny, adjectives that many used to describe the woman herself. The Mrs. Reagan's daughter, Patty Davis, die, who was long known as the rebellious Reagan child, eulogized her mother, recalling the difficult times together as well as the warm ones. Died. She spoke as my former first ladies and other dignitaries, listened on moment. to hear about the inseparable first her couple. I will remember looking out the window to the sweep of sunset and seeing my parents sitting together on the sand. Maybe on the other side, there are endless shores and eternally brilliant sunsets. Maybe it's possible to sit there forever, undisturbed, two souls happily entwined, needing only each other. Former Canadian Prime Minister Brian Mulroney recalled he once told Mr. Reagan he was making every other world leader look bad in front of their wives. Here at home, Mrs. Reagan was remembered by former Congresswoman Helen Bentley, for whom the First Lady campaigned back in the 80s. She was a very kind person because there was no reason that the president's wife had to be out on the hustings to help the members of Congress win seats. And she was there and she loved doing it. Mrs. Reagan, who died Sunday at age 94, planned the smallest details of her funeral, selecting the guests, the flowers, and the music to be played by a Marine Corps band. She was reunited in death with the former president with side-by-side -side graves at the Reagan Presidential Library. Live in the newsroom, Deborah Wiener, WBAL, TV 11 News.